Let's start with you um, first of all, Andrew. I mean, it does appear, I started off this hour talking about the, the pink wave, if you like. You know, there was the, a lot of people saying it could well be a red wave with the Republicans really imposing their authority. It does seem to be a, a little bit um, watered down where we're standing at the moment. Yeah, it, it's a bit early to say. Um, an incumbent uh, party tends to lose in the midterms, as we know, and... Uh, uh, 26 seats is kind of the average number that the opposing party tend to win in midterms. So if, as some polls were predicting before these elections, the Republicans win 30 seats, that is a strong swing. So we'll wait to see what's happening. It's, uh, it, it's still a little unclear to, to see. What really distinguishes this election, though, is the fact that there are election deniers. There are a number of people standing for governor, for a House of Representatives, for various official posts within the states who have said openly or refused to declare that they will accept the results. Uh, we have Kerry Lake in Arizona who has said that she will win and she will accept her victory. And she has... Uh, very clearly said she would not accept, uh, uh, that she has refused to say that she would accept uh, uh, any defeat. These are worrying signs. It's quite normal for people to challenge the result. We've seen Stacey Abrams did not challenge the result, but that's quite acceptable. But I think we can expect to see very many more challenges than usual in this climate. And above all, what people are worrying about is this rather tense atmosphere around these elections. This isn't a normal midterm election in any way.